Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New Yorker puzzle for Friday, April 2nd, 2021. All right, let's get started. Want to cross reprimands? Uh, another word for reprimanding could be scolding, maybe. Scold? Let's see if we can confirm that with the downs here. Drink from a fountain. Well, there's soda fountains, so maybe it could be soda. Pipe problem? If you get a clog in your pipe, that's a big problem. Yeah. It might be in a gym bag. Hmm. What could be in a gym bag? Starts with an O. Hmm. What a margarita lover might grow in the backyard. Hmm. Margarita. Well, you usually have limes with margaritas, right? So maybe you would want to grow a lime tree. Hmm. Maybe lime trees? Plural? Yeah, that's tricky because there's not really any indication of pluralization here, but yeah, I think ha having it be plural is okay here. Mojave and Kalahari. I think those are both deserts. Mm-hmm. It may also be a goodie. This one's an oldie, but a goodie. Yeah. Condemns to a terrible fate. Dooms. Doomed to repeat your mistakes. Yeah. Stop arguing without resolving anything. I guess when you don't resolve anything, but you still stop arguing, you agree to disagree? Yeah, I think that's right. Agree to disagree. Nice. That's a really nice grid spanning long answer there. Huey, Dewey, and Louie, for example. Well, that's an example of a trio, since there's three nephews. Not win could be a tie in sports. Price fixing group. Uh, usually price fixing is done by a cartel in order to make more money than they should. Here's another grid spanning answer. Nice. So it looks like we've got four today. Four nice big long answers. Series that introduced the songs Interplanet Janet, Conjunction Junction, and I'm Just a Bill. I don't recognize Interplanet Janet, but I do know Conjunction Junction and I'm Just a Bill are from Schoolhouse Rock. Yeah, nice bit of classic 70s animation there. Was part of an anti-weed campaign? Okay, this question mark indicates that this is a wordplay clue. So what you have to do with wordplay clues is determine what the clue would mean on its face. So was part of an anti-weed campaign, I guess would be about um, being against marijuana. And then, so because it's wordplay, you have to kind of throw that out and think of an alternate meaning, like some kind of pun. And I think this will be about anti-weed as in like weeds that would grow in your garden. So maybe, maybe this could be hoed, like you're hoeing your garden to get rid of weeds. Yeah, that's a pretty tricky one. I like the SH up here also. That's a nice combo of letters. Hair or carpet style. Yeah, there's shag carpet, and you can also have a shaggy haircut. Pilates target. Pilates is a kind of workout, so it's probably targeting your core, your core muscles. Spiciness could be heat. Yeah. All right, let's look at this other grid spanner here. Lorraine Hansbury play, whose title comes from Langston Hughes' poem, Harlem. Hmm. A-R-A-I. Oh, man. I, I'm not sure if I recognize this. This isn't ringing any bells for me, this start here. Let's see if we can get some more crossing help. Settles a score. That could be gets even. Body spray brand marketed as Lynx overseas. Is that maybe Axe body spray? Sounds pretty plausible. More likely to turn on. And this is another wordplay clue. So it's not um, like a light that's more likely to turn on or something like that. I think this is turn on in, in like a sexual sense. So I think this is going to be sexier. 
Yeah. Blank got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Yeah, I think that's I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. I just know that song because that's what uh, Zazu sings in The Lion King when he's in jail because of uh, Scar. Yeah. Sharpen? Another word for sharpen can be hone. Like you would hone a knife or something like that. Oh, and then... Right, I do recognize this line. This is a raisin in the sun. Yeah. Okay, nail polish brand with the shade Machu Picchu. Nice little punny title there. Um, I think... Oh, I believe there's a nail polish brand called OPI, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Drop by briefly. That could be pop in. If you're just popping by to see someone. Wreck could be a ruin. Yeah. All right, I think we're on the right track here. Plugs as a new movie. Except be just promotes. Like if you're on the late shows to promote your new movie. Maritime help could be an SOS. Yeah. Pardon me, are you Aaron Burr? Blank. Hamilton lyric. Pardon me, are you Aaron Burr? Sir, maybe? I actually... I'm ashamed to say I haven't seen Hamilton yet, so I'm gonna have to kind of guess on that one. Break that might include a bubble bath. That could be me time, maybe. Everybody needs a little me time now and again. Like a one-of-a-kind product. Hmm... What could this be? One of my kind product. Starts with a C. Hmm, I'm not sure what that's gonna be. Bug killer? Another wordplay clue here. So I don't think it's gonna be kind of like a poison or something. Maybe it's something to do with bugs in computer programming? Um, yeah, that's my first thought. Symbols found in Tolkien stories could be runes. There's a lot of dwarven runes in Tolkien stories. One of the sisters in the band Haim. Um, I do think I've heard of this before, but my musical knowledge is pretty bad, so I don't really know what that is. Really? And in these quotes, when a clue is in quotes like this, you have to come up with an equivalent phrase for whatever the clue is saying. So we just need another phrase that means really. Um, kind of like a, a phrase of disbelief. Um, I'm not sure what that's going to be. Former Senate Majority Leader Harry. I think that's Harry Reid. He was the Senate Majority Leader, I think, when Obama was first elected. Um... Okay, so maybe an equivalent phrase for this could be, it is. Um, to, to Tomas. Um, I think this is to in French. My French is really bad though. Um, I'm not even sure how to spell to in French. Is it de? Like that? Ah. No, I think that looks really wrong. All right, let's 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 see if we can get these longer downs now that we have a little bit more crossing help. Um, okay, yeah, this is looking like it's going to be custom made, one of a kind. And then... Oh, maybe, maybe this is Spanish, actually. Tomas could be Spanish. Maybe it's just dos. Um... And then this is a bug, not like an insect, but like a microbe. And then, and then this could be antiseptic. Yeah, okay, that looks great. Some first-time voters could be teens, yeah. Hopefully all those newly 18-year-olds are voting. All right, it's looking like we've got another grid spanner here. Subject of an Oscar-winning documentary filmed in Antarctica. Oh, I think this is maybe March of the Penguins. So that would be about Emperor Penguins? Yeah, nice, okay. Prima Donnas have big ones. Prima Donnas have big egos. Yeah. And then let's just make sure we got these crosses down here correct. Where one might hear pre-boarding announcements would be a gate at an airport, yeah. 
Anthony Hopkins role in multiple Marvel films is Odin, yeah. Father of Thor. Minute parts abbreviated, could be sex, yeah, for seconds, okay. All right. Actress Gilpin of Frasier. Ooh, I don't know that one. Stocking stuffers, wordplay. Okay, so it's not gonna be about Christmas stockings. This is gonna be literally what you stuff in your stockings on your body. It'll be your toes. You get your toes stuffed in stockings. Beige shade could be ecru. Yeah, it's kind of a beigey shade. Tattoo artist's canvas could be skin if you're all tatted up. Perry Gilpin. Okay, yeah, I guess maybe she plays Fraser's girlfriend. I didn't watch too much Fraser, so uh, yeah. Okay, so, and I, I forgot to look back at this one too. One of the sisters in the band, Haim Este. Boy, yeah, that doesn't ring any bells for me. Big old piece. Um, a hunk, maybe? Like a hunk of rock, maybe? Hmm. Do we 10K, say? That could be run. Yeah, 10K is a kind of a race. 10 kilometer race. Hostility enders. Those could be truces. Maybe you could call a truce after you agree to disagree. Jones is four. Okay. And when you see a clue with a word in parentheses after it, that means the answer is going to have to be able to put that same word at the end of it and still make sense. So I think this is going to be hungers because you can also say hungers for, right? And that sounds good still. Okay. What the truth does sometimes, the truth hurts sometimes, yes. Blank salt, magnesium sulfate. I think this could be maybe Epsom salt. It's kind of salt that people put in foot baths, I think, to soothe achy feet. Perez of the flight attendant. Is that Rosie Perez? Yeah of do the right thing and white men can't jump. Yeah, she's really funny. Typical component of a drum kit. Maybe a snare drum? Yeah, look at these crosses here. These all look pretty good. Let's just double check. Insecure creator Ray, that could be Issa Ray, yeah. Film blank could be film noir, yeah, like detective genre. Peter Pan pirate popular in puzzles. That's a lot of alliteration there. <laughs> P, 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 P. Yep, that's me. That's Hook's right hand, <laughs> figuratively. Um, approached with the intention of shouting boo, perhaps. Snuck up on, yeah. Like a home after a visit from Marie Kondo. That would be neat, right? After she gets rid of all the items that don't spark joy in your life. Product that's one foot long. More wordplay. And what would be the pun here? Hmm. Product that's one foot long. I guess it would be maybe just about a shoe because it wouldn't be literally one foot long, but it would be the size of your foot, right? So maybe it could just be shoe. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cute. It's all going to be okay. Nice little repetitious there, there. Floating casino vessels. Um, well, it looks like it's going to end in boats. Uh, river boats, maybe? Yeah, usually river boats are the kind that have casinos on them. Full Frontal with Samantha B Network, I think, is on TBS. Broadway backdrops are sets. Yeah, that's the um, mise-en-scene, right? <laughs> A word that we learned recently. Um, guns as an engine? That should be revs. I don't know why there's a T here. I think that was a mistake. Okay, so what's this here? Dog breed popular at Buckingham Palace. I think they like their corgis at Buckingham Palace. I think they probably also have the corgis at Queen Elizabeth II's crash pad, Windsor Castle. All right, um, Breakout 2017 album by SZA that shares its name with a computer key. I don't recognize this artist. Is it SZA or SZA? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's going to be Control. 
and then state whose postal abbreviation might come as a surprise. Um, I guess uh, it's looking like it's going to be Ohio, and I guess the postal abbreviation would be OH, and that sounds like O, oh, like a uh, exclamation of surprise there. So that's the uh, wordplay in this clue. That's pretty clever. And not win is lose, yeah. Nice, okay, I think that's gonna do it for us. Yeah, look at that. You've completed a puzzle in 17 minutes. That's a nice brisk time for a lightly challenging New Yorker puzzle. 29 across is classified too, sir, they're all classified. And the featured answer, Emperor Penguins. Very nice, yeah, this was a nice, smooth, lightly challenging puzzle. I liked all the grid spanners here, agree to disagree. Emperor Penguins, Schoolhouse Rock, what a nice entry there. And a Raisin in the Sun, all very, very good answers. There was even a nice amount of wordplay on this puzzle. Yeah, I, I, I really like when they include some wordplay in the uh, lightly challenging puzzles. It's good to get that practice in. Um, yeah, like this, this was a nice um, little bit of wordplay. It makes you think about the state abbreviation in a different way. Oh yeah, this was a great one. Product that's one foot long. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, and, and this one, Hode, was part of an anti-weed campaign. Yeah, really nice level of wordplay for a lightly challenging puzzle, but nothing that was like too crazy tricky. Yeah, this is a lovely one. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that lightly challenging New Yorker puzzle along with me. I hope you learned some good crossword solving strategies. And if you're looking for something a little bit more challenging, early in the week, next week, I'm going to be doing the challenging New Yorker puzzle, and that's going to be very difficult. All right, so hopefully you'll tune in for that. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.